Good Saturday morning, everyone. This is Mitch. Hope you guys are having a great start to your Saturday and a great start to your weekend. We're going to talk about the weather in this video specifically for today. It's funny. It seems like the morning videos as of late over the last week or so have actually been doing better than the evening videos, which is cool. It tells me that you guys are getting something from these morning videos. So that's really good to to hear because not a lot of people do a weather morning video, you know, every single day. So uh, it's good to know that this part of what I do is a little bit different and it helps others. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, there is some nasty weather expected today, some severe weather, a slight risk up for a, a good little chunk of the deep south. So we're going to talk about that. I do want to briefly mention um, last night was a weird night. You know, there was a lot of disagreements on the weather world on Twitter. And uh, just like you have disagreements with politics on Facebook or Twitter, but in the weather world, sometimes there's some bickering going on. And there was some questions on whether there was an actual tornado with that storm I was kind of talking about in video last night. Uh, there was, there's a lot of questions because there was confirmed reports of a large tornado, but nobody, there was some storm chasers in the area, and nobody actually got a good video of an actual tornado. It looked like a scud cloud. There was many reports of damaging winds and large hail, but I guess we will probably find out more here in the coming hours once the sun comes up if uh, the survey team goes out in that region and actually confirms tornado damage. There's a, there's, a, there's a distinct difference between wind damage from tornadoes and damaging wind as far as like straight line wind gusts with storms. So big time question mark on that one last night. We know it was large hail and we know it was damaging winds, but the tornado, was there an actual tornado? We'll find out more here in the coming hours of that storm that was just northwest of Jonesboro in the past just north of them but if you guys got anything that i can pray about please put in the comments below subscribe if you have it uh you know growth in the slower times is always huge so i appreciate you guys so let's get going here we didn't let this intro drag on a little bit too far i know you guys got some got things y'all got to do today but slight risk up uh for areas of northern louisiana and northeast louisiana down to the um the bend of louisiana right down here you got the slight risk up including jackson mississippi for the southern half of mississippi and then southwest alabama including mobile alabama you guys are with a slight risk and the marginal surrounding it and really you got a tornado threat today pretty small two percent risk but it could happen it could happen you got the wind threat today 15 percent risk and 25 miles in any given location in this yellow area of damaging wind to occur and then you got the hell threat and you got a hatched area, which means you have a chance to see, you got a 10% chance inside the 15% risk here in this black outline region, including areas like Jackson, Mississippi, to see larger hell of two inch of diameter or bigger. So in 25 miles in any given location. So, you know, the hell threat has been huge with this. And in fact, it is hailing in areas in Arkansas right now. We got severe thunderstorm warnings. Um, right here with this storm just southwest of Little Rock. This is as of this is around 628 y'all's time out here in Arkansas. So anytime when you if you got radar scope, for example, normally when you see pink in these storms, that tells us there's a hell core in it. That tells us it's it's hailing in this region. So just south of Hot Springs, Arkansas, you got a mean hell storm right there. And then you got another one dipping southeast right up here, uh just uh east of Fort Smith, Arkansas. So you already got hellers out there this morning. I mean, and, and this will continue to move into Mississippi and probably fire up as some more energy builds in this region around Jackson. So hell storms are going to be a big topic today in the weather world. Not really so much the damaging wind threat. In fact, this is more of a hell driven uh, slight risk, if you will. But if we go on and move over to Birmingham, for example, and see what's going on in Birmingham this morning. You do have a big cluster of showers and storms like the HRR <clears throat> model depicted here. So none of these are severe, just a lot of heavy rain, probably some lightning, thunder, and maybe some gusty winds. But you do have some showers and storms definitely seeping through and now have moved just south of Birmingham and will affect areas like Montgomery, Alabama a little bit later. You go over to Columbia, South Carolina, and this, you know, long, strung out area of energy continues all the way here and then you got a good old pollen washer about to move through the Car uh, South Carolina. I'm, I'm here in Columbia, so I'm looking forward to this. Going to wash off some of the pollen and clean everything off. It's always good to get a nice, some nice dousing of rain this time of the year when everything's starting to bloom. But uh, definitely a wet morning across the south. Other than that, you know, we'll continue to move forward. Looking at water vapor, you can see the explosion of storms right here with the, uh, the brighter colors, the more wider colors right here. 
showing up here. This is where the, the highest water content is, the highest water vapor, if you will. And you can see where kind of this upper trough is still just swirling up here. It's up in Canada now. This is still the storm that created that blizzard in North Dakota, still influencing the weather somewhat. It's pretty crazy. It's just slow moving and kind of lost up there, not knowing what it wants to do. But it's firing up a boundary along storms down here. And we continue just to get energy that continues to refire here in the deep south and areas in the mid south. So let's take a look at what's going to happen as a whole today. Today, you're going to have some snow showers, even in the higher elevations of the interior and northeast. Still haven't quite got to the warm, warm enough part of the season of where y'all can completely get away from snow up there. So it is possible several thousand feet up in the air um, to see some rain and snow, some snow showers outside the rain showers up there. But kind of a rainy, probably cloudy day in the northeast, especially the interior northeast. Then you got the energy down here, which I'm about to take a closer look at and show you guys. But, uh, you know, kind of the middle part of the country, the Ohio Valley, y'all stay relatively calm today. But uh, some rain showers in the interior northeast and then the severe storms expected across the deep south. So let's go on and take a look at those severe storms. So we're starting it off right about right now, which I think the A-Triple-R model is doing a really good job. It's trying to show you where that hell storm could be. Now it's, you know, showing energy just west of Little Rock one, really. <clears throat> really, it's just south. But still, it has the right idea that there, there, there was going to be a big-time storm in central Arkansas this morning. You keep this rolling. We're getting into closer the, to mid-morning, and you still just have this long, elongated area of energy going through all the way through Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama. So, uh, you know, if you're in the northern areas of Mississippi, showers and storms will continue. But then you start to get into about midday, and you got to watch the southern end of all these storms. They could produce a quick tornado here in Mississippi, maybe even southwest Alabama, um, you know, in areas of southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, and they could produce large hail along any of these clusters of storms. So be careful today. These will get to move on and continue to kind of move southward, but a damaging wind threat and a hail threat and a very small tornado threat with these storms as we start to get to about mid to late afternoon, they start to move to southern areas of Alabama and Mississippi and uh, start to really get close to Mobile and then affect areas of the far western tip of the panhandle of Florida. But I think by then they'll start to lose some steam, but still could see some showers and storms as the sun is going down the night. So just be weather aware in the deep south. You guys probably are Plenty of weather aware by now, you know, with y'all experiencing all this crazy weather y'all been experiencing this spring so far. But uh, as far as temperatures, you know, it's weird. There's a, a stout boundary where it's just cooler temperatures in the interior, northeast, 30s and 40s. But along the kind of coastal regions in the I-95 corridor, temperatures, for example, in Boston will probably warm into the 60s. New York City will flirt with 70 today. New Jersey will be a nice day. Maryland, the Delmarva area, 70s. Virginia 70s for the most part, um, especially outside the higher elevations, 70, 60s and 70s in the Carolinas, probably more so 70s in South Carolina. Florida, you guys are baking down there in the 80s and 90s. And then the deep south, even with the showers and storms, you guys are going to warm into the 70s where the, the cold front just really hasn't completely influ influenced the weather yet. And really, you're getting to that time of the year where they don't really do a whole lot, but just bring in more dry air. They don't really cool the temperatures down drastically unless it's just a wholesale big time cold front, which happens. But you can tell what this boundary is. You see this little gradient right here where you got 70s up here and rain cooled air and then 80s where it has not rained in Louisiana, southern Louisiana. You can see it pretty clear there. But, you know, there's a little bit of a cold front dipping down here. Some cooler air in the middle part of the country in the Ohio Valley where only 40s and 50s will be. The, uh, the highs and, and then you got up here in North Dakota where you still got snow cover and cannot get out of um, the freezing temperatures up here but very warm across areas of southern and eastern areas of Texas where you will climb well into the 80s to close to 90 in certain regions. Um, out west as a disturbance snow levels are really low like only a couple thousand feet up I mean in, in a lot of areas even in the valley areas you know you're a thousand fifteen hundred feet up in the air um, so snow levels have dropped big time for even, even you folks in these, uh, valley towns of Oregon, you probably don't have to drive very far up in elevation to see actual rain turning to snow, but this is disturbances moving across onto the West coast. And it'll be a very snowy day, especially in the higher elevations of Oregon and, uh, Northern California. And this piece of energy will continue to move into uh, Idaho a little bit later today around morning time. 
and will bring some rain and snow showers for Idaho, depending on your elevation. And then we'll start to move into Montana a little bit later this afternoon with some rain and snow showers, depending on elevation as far as as temperatures, uh, you have a little bit of a, some troughing right across this part of the western U.S. So way areas way deep down in the southern areas of the southwest, you will see guys will stay uh, pretty warm, pretty around average, a little bit above average this time of the year. But the valleys of California, you guys are warming up somewhat, but you're still being influenced by that troughing, the cold front a little bit in this area. So you're not warming up big time, but stays pretty chilly across the northwest here. It really does. But that's all I got, guys. Stay safe today. Have a great Saturday. I'll talk to you all this evening, and we'll talk a little bit more about the Easter forecast in tonight's video. God bless all y'all.